Hi everybody and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet again. A lot of stuff is happening right now. France is under attack for having committed a terrible crime, which is to allow the drawing of cartoons. Yes, as many of you know by now, a teacher was brutally murdered last week for daring to show Muhammad cartoons to his class in order to discuss the French value of free speech the Enlightenment value, the European value, the human value of free speech. The teacher was murdered by a Chechenian Islamic terrorist. After this incident happened, the teacher who was murdered, Samuel Paty, became a national symbol of freedom. People went into the streets to protest and to declare their solidarity with the teacher and with free speech. The French government, led by the French president Emmanuel Macron, also declared their support and their loyalty to free speech. In fact, pictures of the teacher and of the Charlie Hebdo cartoons, for which over a dozen people were killed, were projected onto French government buildings. As a result, there is now this global attack against France going on, where Muslims around the world want people to boycott French products. Countries, companies, people from around the world have joined this protest. They want to hurt France economically because France refuses to punish people for drawing and showing cartoons. Make no mistake, these people who condemn France and who say things like you cannot insult Islam without dealing with the consequences are indirect supporters of the same sentiment of the terrorist who killed the teacher Samuel Paty. Make no excuses for these people. This is the same sentiment. Demanding the punishment of people for drawing or showing cartoons, blaming the victims of terrorists, comes from the same place from which Islamic terrorists act and kill and massacre people. What I find very ironic about all of this is that Muslim people and leaders and countries all around the world condemn France for daring to allow cartoons. But on the other hand, many Islamic countries violate human rights in such terrible ways and execute people for being blasphemers and apostates and gay and they oppress religious minorities and when we talk about this then they say that we should mind our own business that they can do whatever they want in their own countries but they are outraged because France allows cartoons so Brunei should be allowed to execute people for their thoughts and their choices and it's no one else's business, but how dare France allow the depicting of cartoons? <laughs> what I also find ironic is that in China, there is a literal cultural genocide going on right now. Mostly Uyghur Muslims, but also other small minorities are being brutally oppressed in China. China is trying to systematically eradicate their identity and puts them into re-education camps. People's families are torn apart, lives are taken, torture is happening. But the Muslim world is quiet and the Muslim countries are not taking any action at all. They are not boycotting China for literally oppressing Muslims and others, but they are boycotting France for daring to show cartoons. How pathetic. Because Muhammad is not just their prophet, they treat him like a god. Muhammad is the god of Islam. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan talks about uniting people and talks about how hurt he is and how hurt Muslims are because France encourages freedom of speech, the hurting of people's feelings for cartoons that target Islam and the Prophet Muhammad. Whereas in his own country, it is illegal and punishable by death to express your doubts and criticism of Muhammad and Islam. People are tortured, killed, lynched in the streets of Pakistan. They rot in prisons for allegedly insulting Islam. They care so much about unity and about people being hurt. What about Erdogan from Turkey, which is supposedly my home country? Erdogan insults Macron and says that he should see a mental health professional, calls him racist, says that Europeans are fascists. He insults Dutch politician Geert Wilders and says that fascism is in their book. This is a Turkish phrase which basically means fascism is in your mentality. He's referring to these politicians and to Europeans. That is very ironic 
President Erdogan is the president of a country that is committing atrocities in terms of freedom. It places extremely low in freedom of the press, oppresses and sues people left and right for daring to insult the president and for criticizing Islam, and journalists in Turkey are constantly living in fear and danger. According to recent statistics, more than 250 journalists were arrested since 2016. But that guy is accusing Europeans of being fascists, whereas Europe is the beacon of free speech. What a mad world. Everything is reversed for these Islamists. Erdogan is a fascist himself, and his country is being run by authoritarianism. He is not only a fascist who projects his fascism upon others, but also a moron who doesn't understand what that word even means. The West is great because the West has free speech. France is great because of free speech. France doesn't have a perfect system of free speech. Speech that is against people, against groups of people, against humans, that harms people, puts them in danger and degrades them, is not entirely protected. Whereas speech about principles, ideas, beliefs, is free speech, is protected, is necessary, is a value that cannot be given up. And making fun of Mohammed, who declared war on the world, is such speech that needs to be protected. The West is this great, France is this great because of these values. Whereas these Islamic countries are as terrible as they are because they don't have these values. These values are why so many people who are originally from those terrible countries are in these good countries like France and Europe. Those values that make these countries so great shouldn't be taken away just because a religion like Islam cannot appreciate it and cannot deal with it because Islam is simply backward. In a world where we cannot criticize the ideas and beliefs of the public, where we cannot criticize the government, the forces in power, is a world in which we can make no progress, in which we cannot change anything, in which we cannot change what is wrong, what doesn't work, because we're not allowed to question it and to change it. In what is happening right now, France is the light. It is time to stand with France right now and to show solidarity. There is no need to be respectful at all, especially if those values that we are supposed to respect teach nothing but hatred and discrimination against us. And all those in the West who don't get it, believe me, you don't want to live in a country where people are persecuted, punished, lynched for expressing their simplest opinions. Let's defend what we have. Thanks for watching. I will be back. Have a great day and stay away from Islam.